Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I try to share with you what I find amazing about the Quran. I'm continuing the subject of plurals, and today I'll start off with something pretty basic, won't go too technical. Uh, two words I'll compare with you in Arabic um, are asama. Sama means the sky, and asamawat means skies. Okay, so sama means sky, and samawat means skies. Obviously, when you hear that, and if I ask you which one do you think is more, you would say samawat, skies, is more. But technically, that's not true. The word sama in Arabic is an infinitive. What that means is whatever lies above. Whatever lies above. Now, when you say whatever lies above, I mean, let's not use the word sky anymore, let's use whatever lies above, then you haven't placed a limit. You've actually referred to something unlimited. But when you say as-samawat, the skies, then you've made reference to what the Qur'an calls the seven skies. And by using the number, you've clearly placed a limit. Technically, sama, the singular, is unlimited. And samawat is actually limited. The plural is limited. So put it, go back to the beginning again. The Qur'an's language suggests that sky, sky, singular, is unlimited. And skies is actually limited. It's counterintuitive when you think about it in English. But it's the opposite in Arabic, okay? Now, Allah says in one place, قَالَ رَبِّي يَعْلَمُ الْقَوْلَ فِي السَّمَاءِ My master, he said, my master knows the word in the sky. My master knows the word in the sky. Now listen, another surah, Al-Furqan. قُلْ أَنزَلَهُ الَّذِي يَعْلَمُ السِّرَّ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ Tell them it was sent down by the one who knows the secret in the skies. Plural. Now two expressions. The word in the sky, the secret in the skies. Okay, why, why is one of them sky and the other one skies? The word qawl, word, see words can be said in secret and words can be said in public. But secrets are only one kind of word the kind of word that is held in private, yes? So the word word or qawl is actually far broader than the word secret. So if you combine all the words in existence, all of what is uttered in existence, that'll be a much bigger pile than if you only combine all of the secrets in existence. When Allah says He knows the word, He says He knows the word in the sky because the sky is broader. We establish that. When he says he knows, uh, he, the one who sent it down is the one who knows the secret, he mentions skies because secrets are a subset of the word, just like skies are a subset of whatever lies above. So words are consistent with each other. The broad word in the beginning, word, consistent with the word, whatever lies above. The limited word, secret, more appropriate with the limited term, skies. This is what I mean by laser precision. These ayat are not next to each other. One belongs to Surah Al-Anbiya, the other belongs to Surah Al-Furqan. They're not even in close proximity to each other. And yet the way in which the Qur'an, in an oral tradition, bears in mind these comparisons that we now do textually. We look at these ayat, we put them next to each other. The Prophet himself وسلم, did not put them next to each other. He did not put them next to each other. This kind of textual analysis and this kind of microscopic you know, linguistic comparison is not possible unless you go through those references and these references, do an analysis of this word and that word, and then say, wait, there's a consistency here and there's a consistency there. SubhanAllah, how he just, just says it. He just says it. I want to remind you of something I said in the beginning of this series and I'll keep saying over and over is that the Qur'an is something that has come to us as an oral tradition primarily and is not subject to an editorial process. Once the Prophet ﷺ said something, once he recited an ayah, it got memorized and it, got, it started getting spread. So you can't even take it back if you want to. You can't. Imagine a word being spread this way that cannot even be taken back. And yet, centuries later, a millennium and a half later, we're looking at the microscopic precision in every single word. This is the word of Allah. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us internalize that truth. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. 
If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.